Breaking news, Grayscale Gorilla has broken into the world of Blender. What do I mean? Check this out. Oh, you again? Will you hit that subscribe button? The more people subscribe, the more the word gets out that Blender Octane is a thing and we can build this community even larger so I'm not the only guy making Blender Octane stuff. Smash that button, do it now. All right, guys, so if you're not familiar with Grayscale Gorilla, you should be actually Grayscale Gorilla is probably one of the one things I envied about Cinema 4D users. They had access to this and being an Octane Blender user and Grayscale Gorilla, like that's just the absolutely fantastic combination. They have some of the best materials out on the market. Well, today I just realized from watching Ducky 3D's video that Grayscale Gorilla is now available for Blender users. So basically the PBR materials their assets are premium, like absolutely fantastic. They're the motivation, like you see here, the textiles, you know, the styrofoam material, motivation for me to create my own. Oh, that background looks familiar. Motivation for me to create my own. Like this has been my motivation for creating all my assets so far and all my free materials that I'm releasing with you guys. They actually have this free tier now. Now I'm going to come on. I'm going to be honest with you right off the bat. They're a little bit pricey, but you pay for quality. Annual subscription is coming in about $39. You're paying a yearly subscription, which is basically $468. Yikes. If you're somebody who's in the industry and you're making, you know, content for, you know, whatever, and you're constantly needing materials, this is a no brainer for you, right? Monthly, it's coming in at 66 bucks a month. Whew a little bit tight, but you know, it's all about, you know, when you're paying premium stuff for stuff like this, it's about how much time is it saving you? How much workflow is it saving you? And I know trying to build these materials from scratch takes forever. Trust me, I've already done it with the styrofoam material, the glitter material, building these things from procedural takes time guys. And even trying to do your own PBR materials from photo takes time. Trust me. So what I quickly did was I just went to their free resources, go into the browser library here and we can go into the free tier and you can download some of the stuff they've got here. They got some other, you know, 3D as I'm not into that. I'm all my main thing is the, the materials, their imperfection maps. And these here, these gobo maps or gobos are awesome. They got animated gobos. So I quickly downloaded a couple of them, threw them into a scene. And then let me quickly show you the workflow that you want to do with these. All right. So I've got this little scene here, which I kind of just threw together. Nothing special where right? I got a little plane here. I've got their map, which is really cool. I've made my own maps, but this is really cool. I like their little G, uh, Grayscale Gorilla mat. So I've got that on here with these free elements and assets. Everything is going to be from the free slot because I can't afford to pay, <laughs> unfortunately, for that subscription. But man, I tell you, it's, it will be a nice asset to have. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and add that material on here. We're going to basically grab in a new material just to make things a little bit more easier. We're going to use the Octane Node Wrangler, Control Shift. T here, what I'm gonna do is gonna select these three mats here. It keeps missing to bring in the main color right here. So we just have the roughness and the normal. And then it's even bringing in the normal with grayscale node. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, bring in an RGB image. And we're gonna use this RGB image also for our albedo. Then we're gonna go ahead and connect this into there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select the RGB image and then 2.2 gamma, that should be okay. And then we're gonna duplicate this node and we're gonna bring this node down also for the normal. If you press control shift D, you'll be able to keep the, the, the cable connected to it, which is really convenient. I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the normal, change this to a one point on the gamma, and then go ahead and change in, change out that new material to the normal material right here, click the normal material, and then boom. So now we've got everything connected. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to GGX Energy Preserve and bada bing, bada boom. Let's go see what it looks like. And boom, there it is. Let's zoom in close here. Look, that's looking really nice. And we can see we got the detail. Everything is pretty much working. But oh, and actually this, we can go ahead and put this to one. Now you can see on this other one, I have the clay material on here. So that's looking here. Here's the Grayskull Gorilla Matte which is really cool. I like that here. And then I've even got their, their gobo light gobo there in the background. And I connected that to a light, which was really easy. Click on the light. Here is the setup. I have my deep, my basic, a basic light. And then I took this and changed it from transmission to a black body admission. So I can have my black body Calvin colors, connect the image, which I, I loaded the grayscale gorilla thing inside here. Make sure it's an RGB image plugged in a distribution and I got box projection and then the transform so I can control where I want it to be. And then most importantly, come over here to the light bulb. Click all the way up to the top and you got to use this size here to, to change it so it looks 
proper otherwise you won't only you won't even see it. this is controlling basically the shape of the light so if i come in here and if i go to here to zero and if i go put this back to stock one that's all you see you don't see anything if i go to zero there it is and i just gave it a little bit of like 0.02 just to soften up the edges a little bit and i'm also using the free gray scale gorilla hdri i have the 4k one here and this is what it's looking like here it's like an office nice little office shot right so guys i just wanted to give you some insight to grayscale gorilla stuff because it's just another asset that we can use for blender octane the materials are absolutely premium level stuff and that's why you have to pay that premium price for premium quality <coughs> ooh, uh, ooh, sorry guys get on this if this is something you can afford jump on it because i tell you if i could afford it i would love to this is not a sponsored video although if you guys are watching out there grayscale gorilla Hit me up. Let's talk, negotiate. Let's do something. But anyways, guys, keep rendering. It's the only way you'll get better. Patrick LeVar, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.